Maritime transportation built this country. From it flowed prosperity. Cities grew. Populations flourished. Because of water, we could not fail. But today, our maritime transportation system is in decline. Of the 50,000 trade ships that travel the earth, only 78 fly the U.S. flag, the lowest in history. Many of our ports, highways, railways, and their intermodal connectors are either outdated or reaching capacity. Skyrocketing demand for goods could cost companies tens of billions of dollars in years to come, creating gridlock, slower deliveries, higher consumer prices, and loss of jobs. Meanwhile, China, Europe, and Russia are creating new trade routes, megaships, and superports to strengthen their economies. Why should you care? Because 90% of everything you buy and use comes to you by water. Trade drives our economy and secures us as a global superpower. Moving goods by water costs less than any other mode of transportation, 10 to 30 times less. And the U.S. has more navigable waterways, 28,000 miles, than all other countries combined. Transporting more goods on our waterways will reduce traffic and pollution. Building a state-of-the-art maritime transportation system won't be easy. We must work together, provide regional plans, and make investments today to reap the rewards tomorrow. We must act now to secure our competitive advantage. By expanding our ports and revitalizing our shipbuilding industry, we will grow the economy and create good-paying jobs. By turning to LNG for our maritime needs, the U.S. will become more fuel efficient while helping to preserve the environment. Creating a modern maritime transportation system will do for our future what it did in the past. It will create a stronger nation for today and for generations to come.